Konnichiwa, bonjour, erende. Welcome back to Cheese Disabled. I'm Brad, and we are back on Devil May Cry 5. Now, sad day for me. Uh, I was gonna put up Final Fantasy for Final Fantasy Friday, but uh, the footage just messed up. So I'm gonna see if I can fix that over the weekend. And if not, I don't know what I'm going to do because I got like a whole bunch of footage, Final Fantasy, a whole bunch of question I did for Final Fantasy that completely lost all my voice footage. So I don't know about that. Nonetheless, no concern of yours. We are here for Devil May Cry 5. Uh, I am actually playing the uh, regular story campaign in this mission not Virgil. Uh, I'm going to give you guys some cutscenes, you know, some fun, some fast paced action, some bang, 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 pull my devil trigger, embrace the darkness that's within me, you know, that kind of stuff, as opposed to, uh, you know, bury the light. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I hope this Friday finds you very well. Uh, if you're watching this on Friday and, uh, Hope you have an awesome weekend. Uh, I think I might have to uh, pick up the pace on how many videos I do a week because I feel like I've got too many irons in the fire right now and uh, too many series is going and not enough time. So we might actually add how many videos we do a week. I hope that is to your liking uh, and uh, hopefully it'll help the channel grow, I suppose. All right. Well, enough talking. Let's ro roll that footage. And dun, 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 I said, roll that footage. There we go. All right. So we're hopping right into this. There once was a demon who saved the human world from destruction. The demon became a legend. And with time, his name faded from the annals of history. Now the world faces a new threat. Will the outcome of this spell determined by man, by demon, or perhaps hit that button so we can progress how about that perhaps hit that freaking next brother next button brother and it grew both night and day and day and night till it was scary it's very scary Now that I've played a couple missions as Nero, I have to say that Virgil plays a lot smoother. Probably because he starts off with more weapons, so it's easier to switch between them and keep your combos flowing. We've known each other a long time. You never had this much trouble. You gonna make it through this, Dante? Will he make it through? I don't know. Now, when I was playing this, Eric what was am watching. I doing wasting my time here. He's got this. And I uh, said to her, "This game makes no sense you to me." You should not underestimate this demon. Because all, why isn't Dante wielding right Sparta? and gained a great deal of power from it. I'm leaving. I suggest you do not fall behind. 
like has like a combination V is like a combination of Marilyn Manson and Chris Angel. You're an interesting My guy, freak. but you're right. Yes, we do that son of a bitch. He stole my arm. All right, so you've seen this before God with Virgil, dang. but it is a little bit different. We get more dialogue. You see V out in front of us there. Oh, Chris Angel ass boy. Mind freak looking ass boy. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot you V. Or if he disappeared because I shot, or if he does that automatically. Darkness and night falls around me. Gotta let it out, gotta let it out. Gotta let it out. Move fast, baby, don't be slow. I can Sorry. Take with no one. I got all hyped for Devil May Cry. And people know this. The Cheats Disable fam, they know this by now. Erica, she knows this by now, so um, We're gonna hit him with that that combo. Get that combo, boy. It's only a C rank to start us off. But we don't have anything cool yet. But we're doing our best with what we got. We are doing our best with what we got to work I with. Trust you. Can we trust V? I don't know. Some people say you can never trust the V. That's their POV. But uh I don't know. These uh flies with their healing nectar, I that, that always creep me out. So I always take those dudes out. The green and busa. Airborne evil. That is, uh, that is the name also of, uh, COVID 20, the airborne evil. All right. So color up tells us how to do high roller and color up. Demons helping each other out. What's the world coming to? Color up is like just holding the gun, which does that, which is kind of cool. I don't have a dry. I'm so used to the, like the rebellion rush. I, I don't know what it's called with the, the drive. I know in one game it was called drive where you slash forward. So used to having drive that I don't have it on Nero. So it took me a little while in the beginning to get used to not having drive, but Nero's guns better. I still really don't know how to do the. I uh, really want to go back and read the manga for uh, the origin of V. I mean, if you know about the game, I don't, I don't, I don't know who knows what, so I'm not going to spoil anything, you know, from later chapters in my prologue gameplay. Um, if you know about who V is and what V's about and some of his lore, he's pretty neat. And uh, I'd like to, they did some mangas that are basically like the time between his appearance, like his first appearance to the leading up to the events of the game and how he got the, uh, the animal familiars and stuff. And that's interesting to me. So definitely want to check that out. But this game is just so beautiful. This, you, this game is everything. It's got the action. It's got the beautiful scenery. It's got cool characters, great dialogue, awesome music. Devil May Cry lacks in nothing. There's Trish and Lady. Respect that's Lady was first and Trish was second there. Got that reversed, but there's Dante and Jordison the Demon King. 
Looks like this won't be a total waste of time after all. Hey, jackass! Didn't your mother ever teach you it's not nice to steal? <laughs> Sorry, Dante. I'm back in this bitch. Now, once again, here we are back here at the beginning of the fight where you are supposed to get your ass kicked. And believe me, I do. I apparently dodged that somehow, which gave me uh, style points for dodging it. But somehow I didn't dodge that, even though it was further away from that. But it is what it is. I'm holding my microphone. My microphone's being a little wonky. Doesn't want to stay up. I got it there and it's not a whole lot to say about this fight if you're really good better than me you can uh, win this fight a lot of hard work and perseverance you got to break this crystal and then once you break the crystal you can actually damage yours in I never got that far in this run I did once I did get to where you actually damage yours in once I was G'd up from the feet up though. And I was like really like in my devil may cry zone. I assume if you have like double jump and stuff that you can use to move around more mobility and maybe trick up and different things to move. This probably is easier than what I'm doing here. And also if you don't get caught in those stupid slowdown things that blow you up, that'd probably be helpful too. But we're over here. We're trying to hit this thing. I wanted to at least break it once to get the damage on him, but it just wasn't happening for your boy to see the nest shit hit me so the crystal hit me itself what am i supposed to do with that i thought i'd at least get it once nope we got our ass whooped Dante got his ass whooped. We're all bloody and laying on the ground. Dante's bloody laying on the ground. V's looking like he was hoping to lose his virginity at the American Pie senior dance party here. And it's not working out for him. Round two. See, I just, I, I never understood that whole, you know, shonen jump thing, I guess. I mean, I love shonen jump stuff, but like if Dante can go double trigger, why doesn't he? Why does he need to use Sparta, his strongest sword? Why does he use rebellion? Why do we always have to like build up to rebellion or build up to Sparta? Can we just start out with it after we've had it since stuff in the crowd? It just doesn't make any sense to me. But you know, it's that whole shonen jump thing. Like you can't. Goku always fights somebody that's the base form, then he's like, ah, oh, Super Saiyan. Then, ah, oh, new Super Saiyan. And then, ah, oh, even newer Super Saiyan. That's just what he does. So. I ranted over V saying that Nero's the last hope to defeat yours in if Dante falls, yours in is the demon king. One bad looking dude. He just broke rebellion. That was pretty rude. Breaking rebellion shouldn't break Dante out of devil trigger either, but that's just weird. It is some serious stuff right there. So now we see what's going on out here. Ooh. If they could just bust through the tree like that, why don't they start busting through the tree everywhere? Be with his white hair. Huh. Interesting. White hair. Like Nero. What happened to Dante? 
Where's Dante? He's buying time, but it doesn't look good. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Anyway, I'm gonna let the rest of this cutscene play out. You all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Like my intro card says, like, comment, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Stay beautiful. Stay golden. Most importantly, stay safe. And like the new AEW champion, Kenny Omega would say, I bid you adieu. Good night. And goodbye.